Hello everyone, Dane from Films Orlando, and today we're out here in our local neighborhood pizzeria. We're going to show you what it takes to make a pizza. We're going to show you what it takes to make the sauce. We're going to run you through it all. We got water in here. Right, you have filling. Sugar, yeast, and salt. For a little bit, huh? And I guess this is what makes the pizza so tasty. Yeah, the filtering system. So, five filter system. Yeah, hey, there's two back here. One here and one there. Behind the dishes. And that's the secret to getting the pizza so tasty. Yeah. Is in the water. You folks heard it from the man. The secret is in the water. It's not in the sauce, it's not in, it's in the water. Well, it's in the sauce too, it's in all of the above, but water does it the most. And he's taking it to a whole nother level, mixing it up. How many pizzas do you make a week? Average. Right now, not enough. <laughs> well, I don't know the exact measurement. I just know by eye. Well, oh, that's the best. Professional right there. Eggs in there too? No, I'm not making bread bread. I, I mostly for bread. And let the doughy games begin. <laughs> Like one standard kind of dough, or is it like everybody makes it different? I put my water in the fridge because it's too hot. Does that help? Yeah, it keeps it from over rising. Are there any other tips you want to give people who are watching that, that want to do some of this? You just gotta watch for your consistency. You don't want it too hard, you don't want it too soft. Right now it's too hard. Filter water. Yeah. I'm gonna reach it down the side and I mix it more. Mm. 
Is there a time frame or? You don't want to mix it too long, but you just want to make sure it's done mixing. Over mix. It's done. I'm just gonna pick it out and cut it up. It looks, it looks like the marshmallow paste. What? Right. You put it on here? Yeah. Oh, you weigh those out. Yeah. For what? Huh? 11, 12, 16, you know. Hello everyone, and on this channel, I promote locally. On today's episode, we travel to Davenport. I chose Davenport because it's an up and coming city and it's extremely under promoted. Google says about 5,000 people live here. I believe it. Why do people come here? It's about 15 to 20 minutes from the theme parks. Uh, to buy a house here, it's ranging anywhere from 195,000 to about 215. 
but uh, it's very, 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 very quiet. So I would definitely recommend it to rent a vacation home here is about 1100 to about 1500 for the week, depending on where you're staying at. And opposed to staying in Orlando where you have the hustle and the bustle of the locals, the hustle and the bustle of actual Orlando, it feels good to get out and get a local sense of what's going around. I'm actually about to take you guys on a little field trip to the meat market, the local meat market. I'm not going to uh, your big chain supermarkets i'm actually going to to show you guys how i shop so stay tuned have fun i hope to get you guys hungry i hope to get you guys out of your seat and thinking outside the box also when you eat local your food's way cheaper your food's way 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 cheaper Love doing locally inspired things. Why? Because it keeps money in the city. It keeps money throughout the community. Things that were not there are there now due to the finances that we put in there. When we go to our big name uh, corporations, our big chain restaurants, those finances that you guys are spending, they just go throughout the whole company. They don't go to the Florida based company. So if you personally spent a million dollars in a company, tough. But if you spent a million dollars in your local pizzeria, in your local meat market, in your local anything, odds are six months down the line, you will probably see some Thrive something, something brand new, something that you've probably never seen before in that. And those are things that I love doing. In terms of restaurants, mostly, I like doing it because I've worked in restaurants, I have been a cook, I've been a waiter, I've tried at bartending, I've done them all. And in my experience, with the local independent owners they care more about you than than the food chains hands down your customer service is better because they want your business back they're not spending thousands uh, hundreds of thousands on advertisement they're literally half the time word of mouth facebook instagram and that's it if you want to be part of the community get notified hit the subscribe button someone this can be for you